mermaid update. Oh boy. Check that out. And these are my best pants. Where am I to dinner tonight? It's kind of sad. So I take this natural hemp and I soak it in here. Still, it's a, actually a little runny still. Kind of like really gross spaghetti. Yeah. Uh, all right. I did not mean to do that. You're a mess. I am. So is the mermaid. <laughs> Just wait for this to thicken up a little bit so that I can make these edges thicker. And then I'm done. For now. Keep slopping. thing I really hope is no makeup effects person is watching this. They would not be proud. <laughs> you have a lot of plaster in your hair. I do? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not really sure whether she's plastering the mermaid or plastering herself. She's a little little bit of a mess right now. I think it's gonna work out fine. <laughs> Good job. Today has been a pretty heavy work day. I haven't had too much time to be able to vlog different things. Uh, I want to be able to give you guys the absolute best of uh, car culture and sometimes I just got to spend some time doing some work and we got a lot of stuff going on. Kathy's working on uh, her, her mermaid sculpture. She got that done. But what I thought I'd do is since SEMA is coming up and uh, there's going to be a lot of excitement and activity happening as we, as we close in on that particular time towards the beginning of November, I want to show you guys some classic SEMA clips. Some things that we've done in the past might be kind of fun to kind of refresh. If you haven't seen some of these, chances are you haven't. But we featured, uh, this is quite some time ago, this is kind of like young Tim, you know, that went and did these things. I'm not really sure how many years ago this was, but uh, this was tr with Troy Sumitomo of 5 Access. He was building a Toyota Camry. We did some fun stuff with it. So check out this clip, and tomorrow we'll incorporate some more of the stuff that's going on here, but this weekend is going to be epic, going to be very cool. Some stuff we're doing with the caddy. Just have to make up for it today with, uh, with some of the work that's going on. So check this out. We're in the Toyota booth with super cool Troy from Five Axis. What's up, Troy? How's it going, Fireball? How you doing? I'm good. So, so you you built this 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 kind of blue beastie behind me for Toyota, right? How, how did that happen? Uh, how did it happen? They said we need a beastie for SEMA, and they gave us a Camry Hybrid. Can I actually see the design process? Uh, no. The interior looks pretty pretty clean, man. Nice job. Well, oh, thank you. Yeah, we wanted to just keep, you know, the interior real kind of rich still, not nothing too crazy, but add a little sporty flair to it, so we, we decided to put some suede inserts in there, kind of picking up the accent colors of the interior, a little bit of a warm silver there. So, no. Tell me more about what, what goes into to building something like this. You know, I'd love to, but it's a real long process, and it's also top secret. Oh, come on, man, you can give me a little something. Uh, no. No, okay, so you're not going to give me nothing? You know, I can find out on my own. Oh, really? Yeah, well, uh -huh. see ya. Troy, how's it going, man? Who the heck are you? Came from uh, from future Troy uh -huh. to talk to past Troy. That's you, man. Well, how's future Troy look? Is he all right? Oh, he's he's smoking. You know that? <laughs> the guy's a style and dude. Still smoking? <laughs> We're hanging out in uh, in Huntington Beach at Five Axis. This is the, right. the super secret Five Axis. Well, it's not secret anymore. You told it's just told everybody. This is the Camry project car. Yes, sir. This is the Camry hybrid that uh, we're doing for Toyota. So, so uh, a Toyota came to you and they said that, that we would just want a really bitchin' uh, hybrid. Bitchin', yes, just like that. They say, oh, please make a bitchin'. Yes. Hey, hey, Troy, I don't know if you know this, but I was talking to future Troy, uh -huh. and he was saying that, that you guys didn't have much time to create this thing. Just so you know, it's like 10 days before SEMA. You know that, right? But I noticed that, that you got you got the interior right up to SEMA standards. It's pretty pretty cool. As you can see, you're sitting on a five-axis milk crate. Yeah, there's a. Let me let me put the seat back. What stage are you at with this thing? What what's left to do? Basically, the inter exterior is pretty much done. We just got a little pinstriping to do. Interior, some seats, some door panels were done. This one will not be a panic show. Yeah, I've heard that before. 
hey, what is this? Hey, what's hey, 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 hey. Authorized personnel only. It's new Toyota Nana. I've been a car guy, you know, even as a young Here, kid. Go ahead and hold, hold this. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, as a young kid, I've uh, always been a car guy. I love Hot Wheels, you know, plastic models. I've Axis, um, 11 years later, it's it's been a pretty great ride. Wow, hey, cool. what's that over there? Oh, that's <laughs> this was the uh, Sion XA, which is like a little mini wagon. Cut the top off of it completely, and what we did is we wanted to keep uh, create the uh, mobile gaming experience. I mean, you know, anybody could throw a TV in a car, throw a game console in there, but can you actually game from the driver's seat as if you're driving the car? Well, with this car, you can. What we've done is we've taken a gaming steering wheel, incorporated it into the, into the car. The, the pedals are wired into the system, uh, along with the steering wheel. We have it so we can actually switch steering wheels. We've got two different steering wheels here, so you don't drive the car with the steering wheel. So that, that XA is pretty awesome, but but behind us is the D, DJ X. Yeah, this is the first car we did from. This is this car probably was the most exciting one to do because it has this really unique feature to it. So oh yeah. What this is, we have two turntables, traditional turntables like most you know vinyl uh, DJs like to play on, and then we got these CDJs, which are basically the same thing a turntable does, but using CDs instead. So you can digitally scratch with on a CD. What is the client as well as the client's core audience we're going to want to see. And also, when, whenever we do a design uh, approach, we always look at what the vehicle looks like. We don't try to throw a Pinto body kit on a XV, you know what I mean? We want something that looks like the car, that goes with the car and stuff. You know, we're real sensitive to design. Uh, basically, what we do is we take a program uh, or a, a surface modeling program. Uh, we, we convert that into data which will feed the machine and then the machine will cut the exact surface that we've designed in CAD. So the way it does that is it processes the numbers and, it, and the bit moves in space and uh, cuts over the form. So once it's done cutting, what we have is a replication of what we just designed uh, in the surface modeling software. Uh, where does it go from there? Well, you know, it depends on what we use the machine for. That's one thing I forgot to mention is that we can use it to cut both molds as well as a final model. So let's say if it's a final model, we'll just go and surface that model and paint it. Um, if it's if it's a mold, we can use that mold to lay up uh, a fiberglass part or you know a composite part out of it. Right, we had a good time here in Huntington Beach. It's all sunny and hot down here, eh? Yes. And we saw Always. some cool project cars. Uh, what else you got coming up? Oh, I've got a lot of exciting things. Keep your eyes open. Yeah, but you can't tell me, can you? Of course not. Secrets, remember? Yeah, but future Troy can tell me. Yes, go ask him. Okay, bye. We know. How'd you do that? Where'd you go? Uh, I had to talk to past Troy, man. You wouldn't give me the answer, so I had to go and talk to him. We hung out. We uh, at the Toyota booth. We saw Troy's car, uh, and now we're gonna go see some more SEMA stuff. All right, well, have a good time. Oops. Boing! Whoa. <laughs> I stepped on his foot. <laughs> Boing! <laughs> it was on the car. <laughs>